And you decided to hide the light thing. How much would my light? Anybody else That's why is that not picking up in my desktop audio? Good question. Can you hear that if you check the Twitch stream? Hear what? I don't, I'm not hearing any like background music, but if that's what I meant to be hearing. All right, we already got some people joining us. That's awesome. Welcome, guys. We're going to get kicked off here in a few minutes. I just have the question, how am I gonna see the map? Do you want me to just watch the... Uh, yeah, we can hear you typing. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there, but uh, sorry about that. We weren't getting any, uh, the intro music wasn't coming through. But, you know, we'll live. How's everybody doing tonight? Alright, um, so, we're going to do some world building, because that's what this channel is all about. Uh, we got Cami here with us tonight, and uh, we're going to just start with a real rough map and go from there and see where it takes us. Uh, Cammie, you want to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Cammie. <laughs> it would not be. Uh, hi, uh, I'm going to be one of the panelists on Worlds by Design when it fully starts up. I don't know what else you want me to say. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Hi, Bama. Hi, uh, Sir D Dialots. Thanks for coming to hang out. <laughs> Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us. Um, what we got up here, if you guys have never heard of it, this is Wonderdraft. This is uh, some really great map making software. Um, if you haven't tried it out yet, definitely worth it. It's the 30 bucks for it, but uh, we're going to use it to make a map tonight. Um, okay, we got, uh, we're just going to randomly generate some stuff here for us, see what happens, and then we'll, we'll build off that. Ooh, that's weird. 
What do you think? You should do like an island nation, or you want to try again? I mean, I think we did get in. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, let's let's try. Let's let's try something else. All right. Let's see what pops up here. If not, we can always just make it manually. Yeah. Also, I'm just Ooh, gonna point out. That's nice. That there really isn't a great mate way to see this. to see it in real time What because do you mean? Twitch is delayed. Mm. No, that's fair. That's fair. Twitch has always got a little bit of delay on it, but that's... just gonna point that out to you <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, this will work. Yeah, this will this will do nicely. We've got a couple it's not of nice one little big islands. island Yeah, 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 exactly. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, let's, let's, like, maybe start here in this middle one. We'll work our way out to the edges. yeah What do you think? We need some... Maybe we can get some mountains in somewhere. yeah let's do some mountains Let's look at a bit flat. Let's see what do we got here. Duke. What do you want? To, oh, those are big. Let's see if we can. I don't I don't know how to use this program so Ah, oh, that's okay. I got gotcha. you. Um. Just how about we just split the continent right here? Yeah, that'll that'll look nice and nice and odd whenever people come and come and check it out. Maybe make a whole little east and west thing. We'll end them right here on that little lake. That'll be nice. So, one of the things we talk about a lot um, over on World Anvil is the way that rivers flow, which is always a little bit interesting. Um, Mm -hmm. the The general rule I tend to follow is um, from uh, highest elevation to lowest elevation, and then uh, opposite of planetary rotation and um, generally drifting towards the equator. Um, that tends to give you some pretty consistent results. We're going to get rid of some Yeah, of that's. this. I'd agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Can I get rid of those symbols there? Doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah. There we go. We'll, we'll take off a couple of those. It was getting over in the water. Um, okay, so maybe we'll go in here. We're going to put in some rivers for us. We'll come over here. Maybe have one flowing like right down. Down to the coast. And we'll do some more. So one of the other things that happens Oh, a lot. I hate that. Oh, that's All right. yeah, that's a bit annoying right there. <laughs> um, one of the things that happens a lot is that um, you know, when when people are settling places, they tend to settle along the water. So let's we can come in here and pop in. What kind of what kind of civilizations do you think this This is going to have and we got some mountains here. We could probably have a little city up here that's got some Mm iron. It's giving or... me like uh, South America vibes with how much mountains we got going on. Like some Peru, maybe the Andes. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Maybe how the how straight the range is. Yeah, I wonder if we got some uh, some foothills, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I again, no idea how to use this program, but. Oh, that, that's that's fine. Uh... Something like that. Play, playful Hills. That's a that's a nice name for it. They kind of. I'm not I'm not crazy about that symbol, but it'll work. We got a nice little river coming down out of the mountains. And we can always come back and edit that. I kind of feel like most likely there's going to be a city, kind of somewhere up here at the top, where Mm -hmm. uh, just for mining and and whatnot. But we're not going to make it a big. Yeah. Maybe something like a small little hamlet. Hamlet block. That's too big. Scale her down. Yeah, yeah. I should put a nice little hamlet right up there. And, uh. Well, that needs to be way smaller. That's true. Uh, I have to get rid of the old one there first. Boop. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Now we gotta go back with mountains. that out scale it down a little bit and get rid of that guy 
so he's not sitting over on top of the river. We'll go back in with our hamlet and scale that down. Yeah, there we go. A little bit better? Yeah, it's a bit better. A little bit better. And maybe one right here at the junction of the river. And then maybe we put one down here where there's a port town. Maybe we get a better. Yeah. I think maybe this one ought to be a... Uh, it ought to look a little bit different, I think. Yeah, we'll do like a... Do it like that. There we go. I'm going to say, do one of the... Oh, oh. One of the towers. Oh, you know, instead of the... It gives the lighthouse. Hammer. I was about to say, that gives lighthouse vibes. Ah, fair. Fair. Good lighthouse vibes. We'll go for that. Um, you can add in your own... Um, yeah, you can add your own assets, right? Yep, you can add your own assets. And we can also put like a little port symbol there too. So it's just uh, in case people yeah. didn't automatically understand what was going on there. And maybe we'll make it more look more like a fort. Yeah, okay. I got you. Yeah, that works. That works. Huh. Uh... Bama north to south applies uh, only in the northern hemisphere. If you go to the southern hemisphere, things run backwards. It's the opposite. It's the backwards. It always it always flows towards the equator. Yeah, we're we're gonna go into detail on the villages in just a minute, but you know sometimes mm -hmm. it helps to have a little uh, just a little something to work with because this map was pretty sparse from the beginning. Uh, yeah. What kind of what kind of territory do you think this is? Like, we need some trees, or maybe we got some desert or some plains. What do you think? I think with the amount of water, I think it would either be... I don't think it'd be desert. Let's go for some oaks. Some yeah, let's, let's, get, let's get a bit of a treeage. I don't, I don't know. I actually cannot scale those down anymore. <laughs> so, tree, oaks, oaks it is. Let's see. We'll just kind of follow the coast a little bit. And then just fill that those in. Those are massive. Those are big trees they are but it legitimately will not let me scale that down anymore huh yeah there, there's a that's the bottom limit it looks like so yeah now one of the things you'll notice that it's doing is it ran it kind of semi semi randomizes the trees as you're drawing them in which is which is pretty nice um and we can always mm -hmm. you can you can uh, thin those out so they're not placing them so thick just turn that down a little bit so you, then you can have it where it like looks like it kind of yeah placement density that's a slider yeah and it kind of tapers off a little bit as you go out you know so that the woods kind of taper off there to the north and we'll mm -hmm. have to bring it down a little bit and i think the coastline would be more grasslandy which i don't know if we'd have to do anything for that i think you can come in here and i think we can paint so we've got a couple of um, colors up. We can go for like a, a slightly deeper green. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Oh, uh, that just brightens everything up, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that's gonna brighten, make make that color pop a lot. Whoa. Yeah, really brings it out, huh? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, and where we get up in here? And get, whoop, whoop. <laughs> that was not what I intended to do. It's a little bit smaller there. Um, yeah, a little marshy. I, th I think maybe maybe I'll do marshy down here in between the two rivers. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like the. Because you have like a place where it meets up that area down there. Yeah, exactly. Right in, right in between the two. We'll have some wetlands mm -hmm. in there. And I'll probably try to blend this out a little bit better. So that it's not quite so eye-wateringly green. Mm-hmm. But let's get that much done. And we'll, we'll fill in the rest of it up there a little bit later. Um, four. Just get the bright green... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And now we're gonna go for something a little bit darker, maybe. Yeah, I was about for to say the... it look it looks like uh it looks like cartoon green. 
Oh yeah. Trees. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little too much. Let's see if we can turn that velocity down just a little bit. Turn the opacity down a lot. Yeah. And then we'll we'll fade all this in and get some grass going in it in as well. So maybe some extra little water channels here. Yeah. Coming in and make it that brackish. I'll try to give that brackish look as it gets in there. Um, so one of the things I always, one of the reasons I always try to start with maps is that the environment that your civilization in is in makes a big difference in, in how they form, right? So I don't really want to get, uh, gotta blend that. this thing needs a smudge tool is what it needs. Yeah. And I, I agree with you on that one. Hit it with just a little bit of green maybe on it as well. But we're going to turn that opacity down a lot. Yeah, I was about to say. Just going to give it a little touch of color in there. So you, wait, you have that level. Turn that down. Yeah. Yeah. Get a little little bit of a blended effect in there. Maybe add a little bit more water. A little, uh... Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Snaky water. Snaky water vibes. This is something I, I don't actually like how it tapers that off at the beginning. Um, we can turn that off though. Can you turn it off? Yeah, I just did. Oh yeah. And we can we can have well, some. We yeah, I was about to say it's delayed for me, so I'm oh, seeing fair, things fair. like I think three seconds after. Yeah. It's being done. So we we can have a little, just a little room. We'll there. figure it out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so a little more tan or brown. We'll, we'll definitely take the feedback on that. Um, and... Oh, yeah, no, that river, those rivers look so much better than the other ones. <laughs> um, tan. Oh. So we'll do some opacity on that. Brush velocity down just a little bit. I know we're not to be mentioned talking much to the chat, but welcome the 19 raiders that just joined us. <laughs> awesome, right? Always glad to have you guys here. If I don't see your comments, it's because I literally cannot walk and chew bubblegum at the same time, so it's hard enough to draw and <laughs> draw and talk. Yep, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, thanks for all the support. We appreciate having y'all here. Um, and Bama, thanks for uh, volunteer volunteering as tribute for moderator. It's very much appreciated. <clears throat> because I am an idiot when it comes to this stuff right now. So for those of you who are not familiar with it, um, we are also part of the World Anvil community. If you haven't used it, I highly, highly recommend if you're interested in this kind of stuff, you go over and check them out. They do some really, really amazing work over there. Um, for anybody who likes creative writing or world building or that kind of thing, um, they have an amazing platform. I'm going to blend that out a little bit like it's getting a little, little sandier up in this region. Yeah. What's up, Xbox? Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Camweb93, how are you doing? Okay, so, someone had asked us a little bit about these towns. So, we, we don't have a lot here, but we, we've got enough that we can start on. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. need another one or two more cities somewhere. Maybe we'll see. We have symbols. We're going to put another... We need a bridge, that's for sure. We definitely need a bridge. Yeah, can we put a bridge on? We can. Um, I think... We'll put one like... The weird part is that these things do not rotate very well, which is... Ah. Oh, no, they do. Okay, I just missed it. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that does not rotate the right direction. Uh, let's try something a little bit different here. That's a little bit better. I think it's too curved of a... Too curved of a bridge? Yeah. For it to rotate well. Yeah. 
mean, you can put some flat stuff around like that. We could have one there, which I think is probably a good place for it. I mm -hmm. think you would probably also have... Yeah, I think that one works better for that area. Yeah. Um, and I don't really think we probably need one up there. But there's not going to be much through there. Um, so, labels. Let's see. We need some good names. Uh, anybody in the community yeah. got a good name on your head, on, in your mind? Something we can uh, throw in there? Oh, that's a big label. Uh, yeah, what's, uh, what, um... We've got a mountain town, mountain town. Mountain mining town. It's a... Yeah. Um... How about, um... No, oh, let's, let's just, let's just be silly with it. Uh, we'll call it Black Rock. Because, you know, they're the, the evil bastards taking over the Oh, universe. Rock Haven's a good one. Oh, Rock Haven? Yeah, yeah, that'll work. In the chat. Thank you, thank you very much. And can we... <laughs> Let's turn that font size down just a little bit. A little bit, a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go down to like a size 10 font. What I worry about though is that whenever you... Uh, when you go to zoom out... Um, I think that's a good size that you're at right now. Yeah, it's probably good enough. Because, I mean, you really don't need <laughs> the individual small towns whenever you're this far out. So, And then mm -hmm. we've got this little marshy place right here. What do we call this? Um, like Bracken Ridge. That seems like an interesting name. Great name for a town. Yeah. And we'll leave that there. And delete that back. I feel like Brackard water would be a little too on the nose. Delete. Just, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Brackwater. Now, if there was something like down in here, like deep in the marsh, that would be a good place for it. I feel, yeah, I feel. <laughs> um. This guy. Let's go to symbols. I need to make this guy a little bit bigger if I can get hold of him. There we go. Um, this is like a fort. Where's right? Whoa, that was too big. This again is still too big. Oh. So yeah, some of this is just guesswork, right? But that, mm -hmm. one, that one you actually want big enough to be able to see. That's still maybe a little bit too big. Okay, well, that'll work. And we still have one more town here we need to name. And, yeah. And, um... Bridge well, the home? anchor is to signify it's the port. Br Bridge home, that's a good name. We'll roll Bridge home that. port. Yeah. That's let's... a good name. You're good at this. <laughs> There are name generators on the internet for a reason. Yeah, we call them uh, our viewers. <laughs> True. All right. Okay. So we got we got our three three little villages here. We got three little names uh, for them, and we need to get some um, kind of so. When I look at this, I see a bridge home down here is going to have access to the maritime, obviously. Probably fishing is going to be a huge deal there. Mm -hmm. um, Brackenridge is probably going to be more of a trade port if we're, if we're, or a trade location. It's um, like, it's a halfway town. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's the truck stop of the region. And then mm -hmm. Rockhaven is going to be our mining town. Um. <laughs> Maybe Brackenridge has a bit of farming... If it goes on both sides of the river, maybe. Yeah, remember. that would that would actually be especially over here. That'd be really good. Maybe put another bridge in. Um, let's get another. Actually, we got this little bridge right here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. I don't know. Maybe we ought to keep those. Uh, yeah, just same, to do same a bridge. quick. Uh... 
just do a quick check in. Um, everything is good. Yeah. This is a test stream. Yeah. Every, is everything good? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, are you guys able to hear us? Volume's okay, all that good stuff. Everybody can see everything good. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Great. Um, okay, so we got Breckenridge now. I'm going to, um, while we're doing this, I'm going to uh, set up a new window here. Give me a second. That is completely fair. They wouldn't be chatting if they couldn't hear us. It's completely fair. Oh, sure. Okay, we need one more name from you guys, though, because we're going to have to come up with a name for the world itself, right? So, let's just oh. toss out a name for the map. Um, whoops. And we're going to call this, we're going to make a new world here. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing, but that's because I'm not trying to dox myself. Um... <laughs> Fair enough. We're we're going to call this one uh, world. Well, for now, we'll call the world by design, just because this is yeah. for our stream until we can think of something different. Yep. And uh... also, I'll need to wrap up in about twenty ish okay. yeah, minutes. No worries. no worries. And we're going to make this public so that. Uh, Whenever you guys pop in, if y'all want to come, uh, if y'all want to come check it out on World Anvil, whenever we get in there, you guys will be able to to see what's going on with this. So, for those of you that don't know, this is World Anvil. Um, this is an amazing tool, um, but we've got three towns in here, so we're gonna what? Oh, those are we don't need those. We're gonna get rid of the defaults. Because we know how to work this. And we don't need this category. Oh, we'll keep that one. Yeah, we'll keep that one. Um, so, we got a couple of articles here. We're going to make a quick template on this one. We're going to have our settlement and settlements. We've got Rock Haven, Brackenridge, and Bridge Home Port. So we're going to do one for here for Rock Haven. And uh, we'll come back and fill this in in a minute. Mm hmm. Dot, 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 dot. This is Mining Town. We're going to go ahead and just, this is a draft. We're going to create this article. And then we're going to do another one for. Uh, Bridge home. Bridge home port. That'll be another settlement. One of the, I think probably one of the most uh, underrated aspects of being able to do world building on World Anvil is the fact that you can just outline so quickly. Um, without having to get too deep into each little detail as you're going along. So now we got Brackenridge. Another settlement. And we're going to do our, our little... It was basically a halfway town. And it's a river town to boot. So we'll, we'll keep that in there so we have it for later. And this will be another draft. And that should all be in World Atlas. So you guys see it's already generated the three articles for us. So if we go in there and we look at it. All right, look, we've got a page already. So the website's already coming right along. We've got a home page. we got our uh, World Atlas here, which, well, the other pages are drafts yet. So they're not going to show up on the main live one so we can go back in here and fix this so let's talk about um, which one do you want to start with 
Bridgeholm, Rockhaven, or Brackenridge? Let's... Well, which one do you think would be bigger? Would it be the port or would it be the mining town? I think the port would be bigger. The port would definitely be bigger, I think. I am one of those people that starts with the biggest and then goes smaller. I don't know if that's how you function with doing these type of things. Mm, sometimes, but uh, we can do that. Uh, it'll work for this one, so we'll start with Bridge Home Port. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and edit this up. Okay, so Bridge Home Port. So we know just by looking at our map here, which is why we started the map, that you've got um, you've got ocean access, you've got uh, the port itself, you've got marsh along the back back of it. Which makes it pretty defensible, right? I mean, like, the only way to really attack is but to be across this bridge or, or across the, the water there. So that that makes it pretty nice. Maybe it started off as a, like a fishing village that grew up into a fortress or something along those lines as, as yeah. the harbor developed. Um, so let's go ahead and get some information. Oh, and to mention something in the chat, one hundred percent, World Anvil is a curve. Oh, it's um, a cliff. It's it's a cliff. Um, yeah, uh, it's something I have not completely figured out. So, <laughs> um, how how old is this town? Maybe two hundred years, one hundred fifty years. I'd 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 say I'd say about like for a fishing town, I'd say about two hundred, two hundred fifty, about yeah. that. Good. I'm going to say this guy has developed into a bustling port. Mm -hmm. um, probably deals a lot with overseas trade. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good connection point. Yeah. And then because of its low, uh, its location makes it easily defensible. And we're going to say that it um, became the kind of capital city of the region. Mm -hmm. We still need a, a name for the country or maybe even for the continent. Yeah. Um, I genuinely cannot think of anything right now. Um. <laughs> I'd give you something if I had any ideas for it. We're we're gonna poll the poll the community. We need another name, guys. You haven't let me yeah. down yet. <laughs> Please, sir. This is the first stream <laughs> of Freedomston. Freedom, <laughs> Freedomistan. <laughs> Freedom. I missed the I. What's that even? <laughs> Yo, you're 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 only like one letter away from like femdomistan, which would make this a very different story. That's all I'm saying. But we'll we'll go. I don't like. Okay. I, I I'm not promising that that will stay the name forever, but for now, for domistan it is. <laughs> I completely missed the eye in that one. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go ahead and make this guy public so that you guys can see it. Don't apologize for me, Bama. I don't come on your stream and do that. <laughs> um, so a couple of things, if any of you get into uh, World Amble, which I think is, you know, I highly recommend it. No. Um, I, don't, I don't think you will, though. What? Bama just replied with the no, apology. No, I, like, I, I come in and lurk on your stream because, you know, it ain't about me. But, you know. <laughs> um, so, uh, for those of you who have never used World Anvil, um, this is a good time to show you a couple of things on here that's really cool. Uh, one of them is the way this thing links articles. So, if we already had another article, say, for the kingdom, then we could just link it right here as the parent location and it would automatically set up the website for that. Um, you've got some, um, you've also got all these nice writing prompts in here which make it 
amazing because sometimes you don't even think about all the things you haven't thought about and you know this gives you a good place to start um, including things like the demographics government infrastructure uh, all of that um, okay the other thing that's kind of cool about it is that whenever we get ready to, when we're finished with this map, we can upload that map on here and then have it linked to all the articles, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got that and done. And we're going to do save changes, and we're going to go ahead and make one more article real quick, and that's going to be in the World Atlas. Um, we're going to make another article. This one is going to become uh, Free Damastan. And then make that the parent article for the rest yeah, of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, exactly. So this is going to be... They don't actually have... That will do this organization. Put it that way. And... I don't know what the... Yeah. Uh, uh... Wait, did I? I think I just screwed that up. I'll have to check it again. Um, it's an island kingdom um, that controlling the central part of the continent. Uh, that's the. Central region of the island continent. If I can type, typing would be very useful here. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so then we're gonna go back to uh, we're we'll go back over here to Bridge Home, and we're gonna edit this guy again. We're gonna make the navigation here. We're gonna set this. The parent article is gonna be set to Fredamistan. And we're going to do the same. I bet that didn't save. Because I got in a hurry. Do, do, do. Do the same. Hit this one. Navigation. Parent article is going to be. Um, oh, that's parent category. Parent article. It's for Domus to hand. Save changes. I'm going to do the same thing for here. Bridge home. Let me fix that one. We already did that one. Yeah, I wasn't mm -hmm. sure it saved. That's what I wanted to go back and check. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is going to be Bracken Ridge. We'll go ahead and fix that. And Free Thomas Tan. Save changes. Now, I know these don't have anything in them yet, but we're going to go ahead and publish them just so if you guys come and check it out, y'all can uh, see what's up. And we'll get this going. So, if we go back to View World now, you're going to see that we've got... Why, hello! There's a new person in here. Hey, copy. Um, so, now you can see we've got the Fredama stand here in the World Atlas, and boom, it automatically generates with your articles underneath. Now, later on, we can come back and spice those up with some pictures and things. Um, and... You know, obviously. This will be definitely an ongoing Oh, yeah. So, thing. I, I guess we probably should have put this out there earlier. The idea here is that we're going to actually build this world live on stream with you guys um, over the course of hopefully many, many, many months. And uh, we definitely want you guys to help us help us make it something cool. Uh, we have a couple Won't of other... Won't be just us either, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah I was about to say. We, we've got two others that are going to be joining us. Uh, this stream will officially actually kind of kick off next week. Uh, the week of the 23rd uh, we'll have two other panelists joining us one will be Newt Coffee and the other one will be Elizabeth um, both of them are amazing people uh, and so we'll, we're looking forward to getting a lot a lot more done here over time um, but we wanted to kind of well one <laughs> we wanted to test all the technical problems that we were going to have and the other one was uh, just to start 
getting into what it is we're actually going to do here. So I know the first two streams were just me sitting there playing Dwarf Fortress, but this world building is what we do. So this is where we're going to be spending yeah. most of our time. And we'll do more in-depth, like, introductions when we do this first yeah, ab episode. And... Absolutely. And uh, we'll, we'll have Coffee here, who, uh, Newt Coffee, who is absolutely going to do better than I am at the map, because this is definitely mm -hmm. his gig. Uh, any... Oh, yeah, no. This is... We'll need to get... <laughs> the first 15 minutes of the stream is just going to be him just saying all the things you did wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. That, that's okay. He can say it in that gorgeous British accent and we'll love it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but um, make sure to follow the... Yeah. I'm going to be shilly here for a second. Be sure to follow uh, so y'all can catch our um, streams later on when we actually start this uh, podcast stream not sure how to experiment define it in full yeah experiment in full yeah, good. uh in a few weeks you know i think looking at this one of the things i think we ought to do here is i want to clear out just a little section like maybe somewhere in here and go back in and add just a touch of water uh, get some water there that is too big fresh water brush so we're going to paint some water in there so we got a nice little lake somewhere in the middle of the, middle nope. of the woods. Yeah. And then we'll sit here and maybe throw in like one little village or something in there. Yeah, gonna... I think we can. Oh, well, we'll make a monster in there. That's always kind of cool. I like their icons for that. But uh, oh, just a small little farmhouse or something. Like, right, boop. There we go. It's just a small detail in there. Hi, AKJ the Wolf. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to the welcome to the show. Um. Okay. I think this is where we're gonna close out. I'm about. Uh, uh, I'm. I need to keep it going for another uh, twenty minutes at least. So, I, I need to let it run. Need to run this till eleven. So, uh, uh, if you need if you need to dip out, that's cool. Yeah. I get it. I know you I got need stuff to dip going out. on. But uh, I'm gonna keep this stream going, and we'll just keep building stuff with the uh, with the crew here in the chat. Got you. All right. See y'all. Have fun continuing to build this. Um, right. And I will. Yeah, we'll right. do this some of this more later. All right, Kimmy. We'll catch you up soon. All right. So, okay, what do we got here? How many more followers needed? Uh. I am not even looking at what the numbers are right now, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, 47. I need three. And thank you guys for following us. It means a lot to us uh, trying to get this channel set up. Um, while we're going through this, I'll give you guys uh, another quick heads up. I am currently working on um, a game called Flagstone. It's going to be a new, a brand new tabletop RPG. Uh, you can check it out on World Anvil. And uh, along with that, we're also going to have a digital game that's going to be released uh, using the same rule set. And uh, that's we don't have a release date on that yet, but it is currently in development. So if, um, if y'all want to come over and check us out, it's uh, www.worldanvil.com slash w slash flagstone dreams of God. And uh, this is the world of Dwinde that we've started working on with the custom uh, RPG rule set. So do come by and check it out. It's definitely a work in progress, but there's quite a lot there already. All right. So back to our map. Let me get my ops back up here. Oh. All right. So bridge home, port town. Brackenridge is going to be our, our, it's like Dothan except on a river. <laughs> There's not much there, basically giant truck stop. So we're going to go ahead and go over to Brackenridge. And we're going to edit this article. So we got um, 
We need something about Brackenridge. It's a river town. It's a it's in the marsh. It's a swamp. Louisiana ish. So let's see what we got here. Um We need a name for that river, so we're going to call that the, um, we need a name for a river. Who's got a name for a river? Dothan is a glorified truck stop. That's correct. I'm not even sure it's glorified. It's just a truck stop. It's, it's almost a bypass, even. Hmm. <laughs> the snake river here's a here's another little interesting thing you can do with um with rolling you can do you can create links just like that so we don't have an article for snake river yet but as soon as i create uh save this article i can go back and click on the link that it generates and it'll pop up a new article just like that and it'll already be linked so i don't have to come back and reset all the links uh, which is amazing as you get more into the world building because you'll end up with a lot of content very quickly and it's a bunch of small things. Um, we're just going to call it the Snake River because it's got a fork tongue in it. Um, And because we already have those other, um, because we already have those other articles written out for Bridge Home and Rock Haven, we can just reference them d directly. Give it at least three characters. It'll tell us what the port home is. And Rock Haven. Okay, so we're going to say that they're basically a trade town there. Um, maybe they offer some ferry services or help pull, uh, port goods down, down river. stick with that and this is gonna be a village we'll just save those changes so I mean already here in just the last mm, 45 minutes we managed to put together a you know at least a little bit of uh, infrastructure for what will be our starting area we I'll have to fill in some more information on that probably on the next stream and we've got a map now that we can use to expand upon and what you notice is that we we really have barely touched this world like there's a lot of lot of room here for us to play with and i'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes um as we as we go along we'll definitely get more into the different elements of the world building such as the politics trade religion economy the whole nine yards we we really want to help people learn how to build believable worlds Hey Mooney, welcome to Lurking. Thanks for coming up. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, so any thoughts from you guys so far?
Do we need more towns? Need another? Need um, anything you'd like to see here? I wonder, like, we're gonna have a road kind of coming up through the mountains here. I think that would probably be good. Uh, let's get to paths. Do this little. Mountain pass. We'll, we'll end it there for now. We'll also do one from kind of wind through the hills here a little bit. And kind of follow the river. Maybe cut out the little bend right there. Because, you know. It's land, and who wants to eat up all those miles? Now we've got a basic road network through there. We could come through here and um, kind of change it up so it doesn't look quite so. Yeah, I like that one. Go with that. Yeah, go with that. And I think. You know, whenever I look at this, I know Rock Haven is mostly going to be metals and stone coming out of there, but I feel like there should be at least a small village somewhere along the wood line here that's going to be a logging, a logging town to start trying to transport that back to here. But I think it might end up being kind of straight off of Bracken Ridge because that's pretty, pretty close to the river. So maybe we're going to put one more symbol there, put another village in, and this is going to be another small one, maybe not that small, right there, yeah, that'll work, and we're going to set a path for that. And we're going to have to add a label to that. I think we'll call it, uh, boop, oh, text. How about Milford? Okay. We got that done. And we'll just go ahead and make a article for that in World Anvil real quick. And we'll do it under the same same area. And this will be settlement. So my title is going to be Milford. And this is going to be a village. It's going to be a logging town. We need another name, guys. That's one of the things about world building. Always more names. We need a name for a forest. We'll do Lurkwood. So we have people lurking. Save those changes. We'll kick that off a draft and go ahead and let it be published there. And we'll set the navigation up so that its parent article is for Domestand. Save that. And let's go back and view our world. All right. So, so far, so good. This is what we've got. We've got for Domestand, which we need to add some information to. And we've already got a nice little collection of villages for it. 
I think that this thing needs a picture because we like pictures. I like picture books. So we're going to take this and we're going to export it as a PNG. Uh, save that. I mean, okay. And then we're going to go back and <coughs> I do just a quick little edit here because I want to try to trim a section of that down. just going to select a little region like that and we're just going to do an image crop to selection do say one more minute we'll come in here on world anvil we're just going to bring our map go ahead and bring our map in get that get that in for for Damastan. Now this is kind of fun here. We can create a new map. We're going to call this Free Domasan. We're going to go ahead and get our map, pull it in. So this is going to be So one of the cool things we can do here is that once we have this, we can just uh, put in we're going to make this one uh, we don't need any titles on it. We just want to go to an article. Related article here is going to be Bridgeport Home. We'll make it a direct link. Do that again for uh, Brackenridge. And that'll go there. Some changes. Oop. And we can do a lot more with this, but uh, this is where we'll, we'll start for this, probably where we'll stop for tonight. This one up here, we're going to do Rock Haven. And the last one we're going to do here, we'll do Milford. Oh, 
and create more. All right, cool. So now if we go to maps, okay, we've got that. We can just copy that link and we'll come over to Pradamistan. And we'll just paste that block right on in there and we'll put it in its own section. see what we got. Did not get our... Didn't get it. Okay. I don't know why it didn't get it, but that's alright. We'll fix that real quick. The section in there is just a little formatting thing to help keep things nice and pretty. And this is it's a kingdom. Save that change. And then let's go ahead and view our world. I don't know why it gave us this little thing, but let me see if I can fix that. Maybe it didn't like the section bit. Hmm. Well, that'll be something for me to fix the next time because I'm not exactly sure why that's uh, showing like that. The nice thing with the map, so whenever we get it sorted out, is that you've got, you know, direct links to all your stuff just one mouse click away all right guys that's it for tonight thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us we really appreciate it we're going to keep uh, plugging away till we reach our affiliate and then um, starting the week of the 23rd we're going to be running a weekly podcast for world building uh, we'll also be kicking off a podcast for uh, Kakriva Studios uh, that's the game studio I'm working with out of Romania and we'll have some uh updates for our game development on there and we'll also be getting on um, looking to start a public play test where people can come in and uh, start playing flagstone we can get the word out about that so thank you guys so much again you guys are awesome thanks for stopping in with us and um, Bama you know how to where you want to raid out to Who's getting raided? Nada. All right. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a great evening. And thanks for joining. Uh, Shy Red Fox, sorry you kind of came in at the tail end of the stream. Um, you guys have a great night.